चलिए स्टार्ट करिए आप लोग कैसे है इधर है ना तुम लोग तो मैं इसको इधर कर देती हूँ थोड़ा सा मूव कर ओके यहाँ तो कुछ नहीं तुम्हारा स्लाइड शो में स्लाइड शो में
employees can expect to be treated similarly so in bureaucratic management all the employees of an organization are treated equally and similarly and as a result of that there is no conflict happen between the employees so all things uh, will be go very smoothly in an organization fourth point is given as there are same type of rule and regulation for all the employees so uh, in an organization uh, following bureaucratic ma management the rules and regulations for for are same for all the employees and as a result of that uh, there is no conflict happen among the employees an organization will go so uh, smoothly and i think uh, it is one of the best uh, advantage of bureaucracy this moving on the last advantage uh, record keeping every decision and action is recorded in its original as well as in draft form so by keeping records uh, uh, it is very helpful uh, in uh, future point of reference like if you are doing the same work or project in future so uh, uh, it is uh, very beneficial for us like all the info information we can have uh, from that previous official record so yeah it is very uh, very beneficial to organization so that's all uh, now the next uh, uh, part the disadvantages of bureaucratic management will be explained by my team member arvind thank you hello everyone my name is arvind i am here to explain this advantages of bureaucratic management it involves excessive paperwork as every decision must be put into writing excessive paperwork leads to great wastage of great wastage of time space and stressnary uh, due to too much paperwork paperwork become primary work and sometimes uh, actual primary work become secondary so this is disadvantage of bureaucratic management it passive and role based human beings uh passive and role based human beings one so don't like bureaucratic management says that rules and strict rules and regulation implied in bureaucratic management remove the uh, remove the freedom of an employee to act apart from their duty Uh, and they and they they be uh, and they became passive and rule based human beings the employee are treated like machine not like individuals in the system both of resources human and physical both are treated like same for get maximum output uh, well human has feelings and emotion but machine does not so this is major disadvantage of bureaucratic management it creates burden and can affect productivity work of organization are divided on the basis of specialization doing a work repeatedly in a specialized job uh, it creates burden in member of organization a board member will not do their work efficiently therefore the productivity of organization will also affected wide gap between workers due to presence of hierarchy structure there is no overlapping of job and work uh, responsibilities of each and every members are clearly defined clearly uh, defined rules and regulation are strictly followed so there is no personal coordination between employees that's it by what i know thank you uh rule number 6 60 60 okay 16 16 16 पानी पानी है किसी के पास मैम एक मिट्टी आ जाए लेके आए हैं नो मैम हो जाएगा
and my dear friends my name is gulshan today i am here to present uh, today i am here to present about the communication in which discussing about what is communication barrier of communication types of communication and so on first of all i would like to thank sony ma'am who gave this opportunity uh, before starting this presentation i would like to introduce my team members the first one is abhinav and the second one is vishwas third one is roshan and the fourth one is priya i am also thankful to my team because they create lots of effort to make this presentation effective so let's start welcome to our presentation in this presentation we are discussing about what is communication which is described by me and the importance of communication which is defined by the abhinav and the vishwas sinha is going to describe about process of communication and the fourth one is types of communication which is described by priya and the last one is the barrier of communication which is defined by the roshan let's come to our topic communication 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 is a process of transmitting information from one person to another communication is a tool to communicate the person from each other communication is a two way process the first one is the first one is sender and the second one is receiver sender who send the message to others and receiver who receive the message from others uh, even that plants and animals also communicate with each other so that's all for me today so, so that's all on me i would like to invite avinav to carry forward this presentations Good morning, everyone. My name is Abhinav, and I hope that whatever Gulshan has told you, you, you must have understood that what communication is. Let's move ahead and see the importance of communication. Let's see the subheading first. The subheading is the first subheading is basis of coordination. Second is basis of decision making. Third is uh, in communication increases cooperation. Fourth is uh, communication maintain organizational peace and communication boost morale. So let's see it one by one. First one is basis of coordination. So first of all, let's know what coordination is. Coordination, coordination means a huge group of people working together peacefully, effectively, and efficiently. So in which a manager or superior explain entity goals to their subordinates, also explains ex also explain various ways to achieve it, and it ultimately establishes social relationship. So, so let me uh, let me tell you the importance of social relationship in everywhere, whether it is organization, your campus, where, wherever you are. Suppose I do respect Sony ma'am, and suppose I don't know the Sony ma'am is professor in my college, and I'm traveling in a bus, and she came with a big suitcase and sit next to me, and put that uh, big suitcase in between our uh, in between of our seats. What will my what will my reaction? My reaction will be, oh, it's so even one 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 one. Please move it. Um, uh, that will be my reaction because I don't know my relationship with her. Now, now again, suppose that I know she's professor in my college, and if she came with that very suitcase and sit next to me, I will tell her, "Ma'am, please give that suitcase to me. Are you feeling comfortable?" That's the importance of social relationship. That must happen in every organization. Moving to number two, basis of decision making. First of all, know that major decisions, not every major decisions are decisions in any organization are mainly taken by managers. Here they are of top level. Middle level and lower level. Uh, superior and subordinates provides various useful manager uh, provides various useful information to their managers and gives clients the right information at the right time. Uh, managers uh, make their decision effectively. Moving to third, communication is cooperation. Cooperation means educate group of people working together. 
is with fully physically. So communication by communication, uh, all the unnecessary friction between a superior or subordinate is eliminated, which uh, which brings employee and employer together, and that ultimately leads to uh, in the uh, increasing productivity of employees. Moving to fourth communication increases organizational peace. Since all the unnecessary friction are removed due to uh, communication, a presence of friendly working environment is there. So ultimately, organization is achieved. Moving to fifth, communication boosts morale. So a good communication between uh, employee and their uh, employee and employer help their employees to adapt to the all pervasive nature of management. By saying all pervasive, I mean I mean that uh, management is changing every time, whether it's inside or inside, like customer facing production technique, uh, government uh, government policy. So. A good communication between uh, employee and employer help them to stay motivated and adapt to various various hearts uh, hearts for the task. Any changes is happening in an organization. So let me give the uh, very common example that how management, how communication push morale of anyone, whether it's us or any employee working in organization. This is very common example which is happening with uh, all of us. So in our childhood, in our childhood, when it is too, whether it's too hot. We, we used to say, Mama, if the weather is too hot, I will not go to school. I will die by thirst, etc. etc. What our father, what our father says. He says, in our uh, in our generation, हम लोग जाते थे छः दस किलोमीटर पैदल उसके बाद समुद्र दो समुद्र पार करते थे जिसमें मगर मच हुआ करता था. They used to say that much thing. Uh, uh, we know that we we don't we wouldn't believe him. Believe him that if we we totally know that he is lying. Nobody can go. No, nobody can cover seven kilometer by foot and then cover two uh, two seas. But he says, but he says to motivate us, to boost our morale. That's it for me. Thank you. I would like to invite Mr. Sir. Good morning. I am Mr. Sir. I hope you all guys understand what the question and you know convey wanted to convey with us. Uh, so I am here to present the process of the communication. So, as Gulshan mentioned earlier, that the communication is the process of transmitting messages from one person to another person. So, it has a proper communication process in which the communication flow. The communication has a communication consists of six elements. First, sender. Second, encoding. Uh, third is channel. Fourth is receiver, and fifth is decoding, and finally is feedback. So, let us move on. Sender. Sender is the person. Who wanted to express feeling, emotion, and idea to the receivers? Uh, it is the foundation of a communication process. Uh, from this process, the communication process has to begin. Uh, the sender formulate idea and uh, generate info information in his mind. Then the communication process has to begin. Uh, let us move. Uh, the African we convincing African signal idea from. Uh, After yeah. con after sender conceiving an idea, uh, the then its next step is to giving a shape to that idea and uh, putting this message into a form which is in verbal or written or symbolic form so that the receiver may understand what sender wanted to convey with us. So our third element is channel. The channel is a path or mode of sending message in which the receiver may understand what sender wanted to convey. It can be a verbal, oral, or non-verbal, digitally, and later telegram, etc. Which is the media, but the sender has to decide which media we have to use so that the sender may understand in best and possible way and fast. So there's a two and face-to-face -face, uh, um, ch channel is the fastest uh, mode of a channel. Receiver. Uh, he is a person of group. Receiver is a person who. Um, Receive the person who receive the message from the sender, and it is a heart of communication process. As we all know that if there is no receiver, the communication process become nil. Ah, uh, message receive and ready to decode by receiver. Decoding is the element in which the receiver ah uh, take the encoded message and try to um try to convert that message in a form and uh, understand what he wanted to say. If he, if the receiver understood 
a receiver is ready to give feedback and if not the message will be sent again by sender uh, feedback this is the final step and uh, if, if receiver got uh, understand what the sender wanted to convey uh, he give a feedback uh, so that uh, he he understand what the sender wanted to the receiver will give feedback after receiving the message from the receiver okay. this is also communication value <laughs> Does the process of communication is finally completed after I would like to call Ria uh, to continue uh, to continue this presentation. Thank you, Vishwas, for calling me. Good morning to all. I am Ria Raj. Now from here, I am going to communicate. I am going to continue the process of types of communication. You can see there are several types of communication on the basis of uh, experience, on the basis of organizational structure, on the basis of direction. Now first, we have to know about that uh, on the basis of expression. There are two types. First one is verbal communication and second one is non-verbal communication. Now what is verbal communication? Verbal communication means it is very easy to under understand. It is very simple. And verbal communication is the most common type of communication. For example, it is a face-to-face -face communication, day-to-day -day communication and uh, conversation via letters, notice, etc. We can say verbal communication is the usage of words to convey the messages. Now the second one is non-verbal communication. Non-verbal communication is based on gestures, tone, uh, body languages, ex expressions, outfits. The best example is given here that Sony ma'am had asked us in online classes whether we understood or not understood the topic. We all got, we all don't open our mic and we simply note. She moves towards the next topic, is the non-verbal communication. Now the communication according to the organizational structure. This is also two types of communication. First one is formal communication and second one is informal communication. The first one is formal communication means the communication which throughs well which flows through well-defined path established by management. We can say formal communication is an official or professional communication. For example, a communication uh, formal communication means a manager inquiries about sales from a sales manager is formal communication. Now the second one is informal communication. Informal communication based upon social friendly relationship means, uh, for example, a manager asks about his ask about his to be subordinate or his junior about his family or family well-being. Now the last one is communication types of communication according to direction. There are four types, or we can say two types because they are interrelated. First one is downward and upward relation. Upward uh, communication is the communication which flows from top level to bottom, bottom level to top level. For example, a worker reporting an issue to sales manager or requesting for anything to his sales manager is upward communication. Now, the second one is downward communication, which flows from top to bottom level, a uh, top level manager ordering to his subordinates is the downward communication. Now the third one is horizontal communication, the communication which is at the same level of management. Uh, I'm taking the example of our college, our director sir and our so, may, principal ma'am, they are both in same level. They are discussing about our college is the horizontal communication. Now the last one is diagonal communication. Diagonal communication means the communication in any levels. It is also known as a cross line communication. Diagonal communication means, a com uh, for example, our director, sir, is talking with sales manager or our principal, ma'am, Mega ma'am, is talking with uh, software engineer, is a diagonal communication. That's it. Now I would like to call Roshan to carry on from Good morning, class. I am Kumar Roshan. Today I am representing barrier to communication. There are many types of barrier to communication. Some are here. The first one is language barrier. Language barrier is the most common type of barrier in the communication. And this is the second word, technical word barrier. Usage of technical word barrier to obtain in using in conversation. And this is the third one, physical barrier. Barrier such as detected in vision, hearing, disability, etc. And this is the fourth one, information overloaded. 
too less information cannot to be good, but too much information can harm to the communication. And the last one is very the psychological barriers. Barriers include short temper, hair, shy, jealous, deficit. Thank you, class. This is all from my team. Thank you and have a nice day. सामने और कोई है जिनका प्रेजेंटेशन है अभी और कोई बैच था ना जो बता रहा था है और किसी का प्रेजेंटेशन नहीं है अभी ओके वेर इज मुस्कान अच्छा टीम मेंबर्स उस दिन भी नहीं आए थे ना हाँ टीम मेंबर्स को धमकी दे दो अब कि मैं अकेले दे दूंगी प्रेजेंटेशन ओके ठीक है आज के लिए तो टाइम पूरा ऑलरेडी तुम लोग ले चुके हो थोड़ा सा रेडीनेस पहले से होना चाहिए अगर आपका क्लास है तो कम से कम उसको लैपटॉप में ट्रांसफर कर रखने से यहाँ इजिली हो जाएगा ठीक है ना किसी में वीजी है किसी में एस है तो ये सब प्रॉब्लम है डिफरेंट क्लासेस में इसीलिए जहाँ पे जो अवेलेबल है उसको उसी मोड में कर देना है ठीक है मैं पहले जो प्रेजेंटेशन है उसके बारे में बता दू कि पहला है श्वेता विनीता और स्नेहा राइट और अरविंद अरविंद नहीं सिक्सटीन रोल नंबर सिक्सटीन मैंने लिख लिया ठीक है श्वेता विनीता थोड़ा एनर्जी लाना पड़ेगा ठीक है ना थोड़ा स्लो मोशन लग रहा था मुझे जो मेरे एक्सपेक्टेशन से उसके हिसाब से वो जहाँ जो यहाँ पे थोड़ा एनर्जी का रिक्वायर था वो थोड़ा यहाँ ज्यादा ही था क्योंकि वो आपके वीडियोस बन रहे थे और मैंने उनको मना नहीं किया वीडियोस बनाने से आप देख लीजिएगा अपने वीडियोस वीडियोस में आ, बहुत ज्यादा हिल रहे हैं आप लोग और वो एक एकदम हाँ इन लोगों में और वो बहुत ज्यादा रिदम में हिल रहे हैं ऐसे लग रहा है जैसे डांस कर रहे हैं और सबका रिदम एकदम अलग अलग है अलग अलग है तो नहीं नहीं विश्वास वॉज द मोस्ट स्टेबल इन दैट पर्टिकुलर है मोस्ट स्टेबल अमॉन्ग बॉयज अमॉन्ग बॉयज राइट हाँ वो कर रहा था क्या वो मैं बता देती हूँ ठीक है ना वो ये कर रहा था पर वो ऐसे नहीं करना है इतना ज्यादा पर ठीक है स्टिल ही स्टिल क्या प्लान ज्यादा कूदने का नहीं वो ठीक है पूरा ज्यादा था अच्छा रिया का तो बहुत अच्छा था रिया तो कुछ भी नहीं कर रही थी नो एक्स्ट्रा आपका जो बॉडी लैंग्वेज है दैट स्पीक्स अलॉट राइट तो तुम्हारे बॉडी लैंग्वेज में स्वेता फिर भी ठीक है तुमको थोड़ा और एनर्जी डालना पड़ेगा ठीक है ना और एक और प्रॉब्लम थी इस बैच में ठीक है ना इस ग्रुप में श्वेता विनीता स्नेहा और अरविंद के में कि आप लोग सभी ना कोई ऑडियंस को नहीं इंटरेक्ट कर रहे थे बहुत कम ऑडियंस की तरफ आप लोग कनेक्ट कर रहे थे इधर इधर फेस करके किसको बता रहे अपने टीम मेंबर को इधर देखिए और इधर बोलिए क्योंकि आगे है जनता जनार्दन ना तो यहाँ देखना बहुत जरूरी था मैंने तुम लोगों के लिए इधर एंगल किया तो भी नहीं कवर अप हो रहे हो वीडियो में इधर एंगल किया तो भी नहीं हो रहे हो क्योंकि तुम देख ही रहे हो दूसरे साइड में ना फ्रंट आपका कम्युनिकेशन ठीक है ना आई कांटेक्ट मस्ट नेसेसरी है अगर आप चाहते हो कि आपकी क्लास में जागते रहे सभी तो आई कांटेक्ट करो राइट इसके अलावा सब कुछ ठीक था कंटेंट सही है जो भी आप लोगों ने बताया वो सही थोड़ा सा एनर्जी थोड़ा सा बढ़ाना है और ऑडियंस के साथ रिलेट करना है और आप लोगों का वो वीडियो पूरा तैयार है खुद देख लीजिएगा ठीक है ना मैं बुरा तो बिल्कुल नहीं बोल रही हूँ अच्छा था 
पूरा सा कम करना है उसको तुम्हारा अच्छा था तुम्हारे में कोई खास प्रॉब्लम नहीं ठीक है वो एक रिदम था ये और ये वो मैंने नोटिस किया पर दैट दैट डजेंट मैटर ठीक है कुछ ना कुछ हो जाता है विन यूर स्टैंडिंग तो ऐसा कुछ होता है बट आप और आप बहुत ज्यादा हिट रहे थे ठीक है ना तो जो ये है गुलशन है वो बहुत ज्यादा कॉन्फिडेंस में था ठीक है ना एंड कॉन्फिडेंस विदाउट नॉलेज ठीक है क्योंकि जैसे ही स्लाइड थोड़ा सा लेट होता था नेक्स्ट 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 वो समझ में आता है अगर कॉन्फिडेंस है तो विद नॉलेज राइट कॉन्फिडेंस दिख रहा था अच्छी बात है अच्छी बात है राइट right? कॉन्फिडेंस होना बहुत अच्छी बात है अच्छा लगा मुझे द वे यू प्रेजेंटेड आपने जगा के रखा लोगों को सोने नहीं दिया पर थोड़ा सा अगली बार अपने मूवमेंट पे काम करेंगे और थोड़ा सा पढ़ के भी आएंगे ठीक है ना मतलब पढ़ के आए होंगे आप लेकिन जैसे नेक्स्ट क्या है अगर वो नहीं आता है मान लो लास्ट मोमेंट में टेक्निक टेक्नोलॉजी इज अ बैरियर ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन किसने बताया भी बैरियर बैरियर रोशन राइट रोशन टेक्नोलॉजी बैरियर है यही अगर टेक्नोलॉजी यहाँ पे कुछ ऐसे प्रॉब्लम हो जाए ठीक है ना नहीं हो पाए तो फिर नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट किसको बोलना है फिर तो नेक्स्ट जो है वो यही है ठीक है ठीक है ठीक है वो खुद करेगा ठीक है ना वो टीम मेंबर में कोर्डिनेशन रहेगा वो खुद करेगा आपको बोलने की ठीक है ना वो धीरे भी करेगा तो आ जाएगा डजेंट मैटर उस पर मत ध्यान दो अब तुम सिर्फ अपने प्रेजेंटेशन पे ध्यान दो अदरवाइज इस बैच का बहुत ही अच्छा था ठीक है रोशन तुमको थोड़ा काम करना पड़ेगा ठीक है ना अदरवाइज यू फोर हैव डन वेल एंड रिया का सबसे बेहतर ठीक है ना क्योंकि उसका बॉडी लैंग्वेज गेस्टर फेस एक्सप्रेशन सब कुछ बढ़िया था सब कुछ एक साथ जा रहा था और ना ही ओवर कॉन्फिडेंस ना ही अंडर कॉन्फिडेंस मेरे ख्याल से वोकल भी थी ठीक है ना तो वो ऑडिबल भी था अच्छे से सो so, सब लोगों का अच्छा रहा मिला जुला के जहाँ पे थोड़ा बहुत फीडबैक की जरूरत थी वो मैंने दे दिया है और इन करना था ठीक है ना ठीक <laughs> है अच्छा ये भी हो सकता था तुमने कौन सा मोड कर दिया था कि एकदम से क्लास मुझे इनविजिबल दिख रहा था यस ठीक है कोई बात नहीं आपके रिकॉर्डिंग है आप अपने रिकॉर्डिंग से वो दोनों कर रहे थे ना तो मैं जानबूझकर चाह रही थी कि हो जाए ताकि आप अपने रिकॉर्डिंग से भी देख सकते हैं कि और कितना कहाँ पे इम्प्रूवमेंट की जरूरत है ठीक है ना कहाँ पे थोड़ा कम करना है कहाँ पे ठीक है अदरवाइज ओवरऑल यहाँ का तो पहला ही प्रेजेंटेशन है इससे पहले बहुत ही अच्छा है बहुत ही अच्छा है तुम दोनों का ही बहुत अच्छा जो पिछले क्लास में हुआ था ज्योति और बाकियों का उन्होंने भी अच्छा किया था थोड़ा सा ग्रामेटिकल मिस्टेक और थोड़ा सा हेजिटेशन था अदरवाइज वो भी अच्छा था ग्रामेटिकल मिस्टेक थोड़ा बहुत तो यहाँ भी हो रहा था बट दैट इज आउट ऑफ फियर वो मैं समझ रही हूँ इसलिए उसके लिए कोई बहुत बड़ी बात नहीं जैसे आई एम I'm going to represent तो I am represent कुछ नहीं होता बट ठीक है इट्स ओके इट्स ओके मतलब ये कोई भी इशू नहीं है यहाँ पे ठीक है मुझे भेज देना ये सारे और अगर इंडिविजुअल इंडिविजुअल लिया होगा तो वो भी भेज देना ठीक और कुछ आप लोग क्वेश्चन पूछ सकते हैं जो आपके सामने आते हैं ना प्रेजेंटेशन देने के लिए यस यस वो भी वो भी प्रेजेंटेशन में का पार्ट होता है इवन यू हैव टू आस्क इज वी हैव डन विद आवर प्रेजेंटेशन वी वेलकम इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन ठीक है ना आपको कंफ्यूजन में ये भी बोलना चाहिए क्या क्या हो गया आई डोंट नो वो मुझे नहीं मालूम कुछ न्यूज क्यों आया ओके चलिए वन टू थ्री बात कर रहे थे ना थ्री फोर सेकेंड मैम फोर सेकेंड को हटाना मैम मेरा कल का नहीं बना था अटेंडेंस जो आइन थे ऑन नहीं हुआ था माइक क्या हो गया था माइक में पता नहीं फोर फोर, फोर है क्या यस मैम फाइव सिक्स सेवन 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 प्रेजेंट मैम सेवन ठीक है ठीक है एट नाइन टेन यस मैम टेन इलेवन Yes, ma'am. Eleven. 
Yes, ma'am. Sixty-three, yes, sixty-four, yes, sixty-five, sixty-six. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Sixty-seven. Present, ma'am. Sixty-eight. Yes, ma'am. Sixty-nine. Seventy. Seventy-one. Seventy-two. Seventy-three. Seventy-four. Seventy-five. Seventy-six. Seventy-seven. Seventy-eight. Seventy-nine. Present, ma'am. Eighty. 81 yes ma'am 81 82 83 yes ma'am 84 85 86 87 88 89 89 no 90 90 91 92 yes ma'am 91 92 yes ma'am 92 93 94 95 93 95 96, 97, 98 हो गया ओके नेक्स्ट क्लास हम लोग क्या हुआ अभी अभी तो कुछ नया नहीं आया ऑनलाइन है ठीक है अभी मुझे कोई इंफॉर्मेशन नहीं है कल का मुझे इंफॉर्मेशन नहीं है शायद जो ऑनलाइन चल रही है क्लासेस वो ऑनलाइन ही चलेंगी जो क्लासेस आपके जैसे अभी आप लोग डुबेल मोड में कर रहे हैं ना ये जूम क्लास ये नहीं होगा ये सिर्फ फिजिकल मोड होगा मेरे हिसाब से यही है फिर मैं आप बात फिर ठीक है ना कोई बात नहीं मेरी जब भी मैं आगे बढ़ाती हूँ तो कुछ ना कुछ पीछे से ही शुरू करती हूँ तो जो उसमें कवर की रहती हूँ मैं कर देती हूँ ठीक है ना तो शायद मेरे ख्याल से यही होगा जैसे ये क्लासेस कल से यस सिद्धि एंड मानवी एंड वो सभी लोग जो अभी ऑफलाइन क्लास कर रहे हैं ऑनलाइन कर रहे हैं इनफैक्ट आपके लिए ये क्लासेस सिर्फ सिर्फ फिजिकल मोड में कल से होंगी या फिर आप यूट्यूब को रेफर कर सकते हैं ठीक है बाकी कोई जूम पे ऑनलाइन क्लासेस उन क्लासेस का नहीं होगा जो ऑफलाइन हो रही है